Hey guys, welcome to ProRPA.com. This week uh, we'll be talking about uh, the output activities for email automation. Right, so um, two weeks back uh, we did learn about the input activities and apologies. I wasn't able to post anything last week due to some, uh, you know, a lot of uh, things that came ad hoc. So um, um, I'm sorry about that. And uh, for this week, um, we are going to talk about the output activities, which means sending out the data, like the subject, uh, body of an email, the attachments, uh, etc., etc., from a mail server to another email address. Right? So the theoretical part has been covered in the blog post. So if you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend you please check that out first because it's going to make much more sense when, um, you know, uh, when you'll be looking at this video after going through that data of that article once. Okay, so um, for this we'll be using uh, like uh, a private SMTP uh, mail server activity, right? I have that ready because uh, in the logon uh, under this parameter attribute, right, uh, in this property, um, I have my login ID and the password for my Gmail. So I'm taking the Gmail as the example because using Outlook is even more simpler. If you have it configured in your uh, in your system, let's say your office system or something, then literally you have to do nothing. No config changes, nothing at all. But for uh, a generic mail s uh, server like the Gmail one, right? You need to provide the server, which is uh, for the SMTP. It's smtp.gmail.com, and the port number is five eight seven. You can uh, simply Google it and you'll find um, the relevant details for any of those um, SMTP mail messages, server details that you may want to use, right? It's not limited to Gmail. So once you have those credentials, just put them up along with your login ID and the password and you should be all set, right? And uh, under the mail SMTP, you can see send SMTP mail messages as the activity. And once you go there, let's say I put in my email address where I want to send the uh, mail to and uh, a subject is there as well like sample subject and also a body which is like sample of the body just to see if this functionality works or not right so um, I have my Gmail where I'm I'll be receiving this message um, open in front of us and if we run this let's see And here it is. Uh, it's uh, it finished, and you can see the mail just came in. So if you open the subject sample, it says the body sample and the subject sample. So it's working, right? Fairly simple, fairly easy, and um, you know, like it can actually solve a lot of your problems. Trust me. Um, usually, what happens is when you're working with enterprise applications like SAP Oracle, then uh, many times you get some system-generated reports. Let's say you've already automated this process, which is a great um, way, right? Which is a very efficient way. Then this report that has been generated, you may want to send it to some people, to yourself, or to other system users, just to give a snapshot of how the current system status is, or the data status, or or your like you know uh, whatever job, whatever sort of job you're in. So um, all those things. Uh, if let's say it's just a text message saying that the system is up and running, right? By simply doing some sort of checks, then you can simply write in the body system is okay and uh, probably a thumbs up or a green signal. And uh, you can schedule this operation uh, from the UiPath orchestrator, which we'll be dealing with later. Um, and uh, this way you can, you know, um, automate the process of uh, system check, right? And um, I'm also going to tell you like a specific example of uh, how to, you know, send the emails with the attached files. For this, uh, again, uh, I recommend that you go through the article once because in the article I have discussed the attached files dialogue in detail. But uh, here we'll take an example as well. All right. So um, once this is done, let's um, talk about the attachments and stuff. So for this, I'm going to take a rather sophisticated example where um, we'll, um, and um, this is like um, a little off uh, the charts, but uh, 
so um, I have a template file right uh, on my desktop called template.txt so um, this I'm gonna use to um, to constitute the body section of the email instead of writing it down like there could be like a huge amount of text involved right so um, let's say um, I've put it in this sample data that says this is a sample template used in the body section of the mail thanks Vavogen but there could have been like three four multiple lines multiple paragraphs also as you see and you must be receiving a lot of emails on a on a daily basis you know so um, just you can use a template instead of uh, instead of writing or hard coding the data and um, what we'll do is um, we'll use this template and uh, as the uh, body of the email so uh, for this first and foremost what we'll do is we'll uh, read the text file right this is gonna be the first activity and I'm gonna mark this as a start node that's alright I'll put that aside and um, in reading the text file I'll put the file name as um, the actual directory location of the file so excuse me I don't need this here it is um, and then template.txt right so this way okay and uh, the file would be stored in uh, a variable called template you can just create a new you know variable but I have one called template here okay so um, it's this activity is gonna read the text file and it's gonna store that in the variable called template which is pretty much the file name as well okay once it does that what what I also want is I want to create a um, this is going to be the body section right but I also want to show you an example of attaching a file in the mail um, when sending out the email to any other you know uh, email address so for that I'm gonna take another example of taking a screenshot it's gonna take a screenshot of uh, whatever would be there currently visible on the system and um, that screenshot would be saved and sent alongside the mail right so for this uh, I'll use the activity called take screenshot right it's right here and um, the screenshot would be taken and the result would be let's say my image so the image would be stored and uh, now um, once the image this image is currently within the workflow itself within the RPA workflow itself right so the next activity you'll do is uh, you'll save the image because you'll have to save it locally so that you'll be able to attach it right and usually what I do is and it's um, I mean I found this practice to be very beneficial but I use the same name con naming convention that I used within the workflow to save the image uh, for the external hard drive as well right or within our system internal external whatever you call it the hard disk of the system so you put it as my image and the file name you I want to store it in my on my desktop itself so my image dot jpg right so this file will automatically be saved the screenshot would be saved and now what I'll do is I'll use the same activity which is sending out this these emails Oops, excuse me okay it is connected just oh my god let me make this better sorry okay alright so we have a decent program all set uh, except a few changes so in in here what we have is um, you can see the two let let it remain as the email ID that I have right I have the as I mentioned the logon details are already in this one I don't want to expand it because the password would be visible right and then uh, for the subject uh, I use some I'll use some dynamic content as well so I'll tell you what dynamic content is so in the subject of the email along with this this text this static text which is the subject sample I've also concatenated the current system date time 
So this will be generated automatically by this will be like taken from the system where the bot is running and um, the current date and time would be sent out. So that's actually again a very um, useful practice because um, let's say you want to know at w at a particular instant of time what exactly the system status was, right? And you let's say have um, an RPA bot which is working on a on a fixed period of time on an hourly basis on a per minute basis on a daily basis so you would want that at what particular time this screenshot or this email was sent and um, you can sort of you know uh, make an make an educated guess or you can make um, you can make a very good uh, uh, you know you can it, it will intuitively come to you that you know uh, at this particular instant of time this is what the system status was you know depending on the time criticality uh, which is again a pretty common occurrence in uh, in our day to day jobs right once you have that um, the last thing is instead of uh, having uh, the body as some static text I have used the template which was the variable where uh, which is storing the text from the template.txt file that I took the data from uh, uh, on my desktop right so this is all good as you can see I'm also gonna attach a file so I'm gonna create an argument in direction string and uh, this is gonna be my image dot jpg if you remember this is the file that we will be creating currently if you look at the desktop there is no such file let me even refresh it nothing right so we don't have that file but in attach files I've put the desktop and uh, my image dot jpg file correct so we have a pretty decent program ready let's run it and see how it works out so the bot has started uh, my image file got created and done right as you can see now the my image dot jpg file just got created and um, if I open it up it took a screenshot of uh, of the current system right I closed it down here I am if I go to my email there it is subject sample it gave the date and the time as well and uh, hi this is a sample template this is this was the body from uh, the template.txt file so it successfully took all the data from there right and the image file is also attached alongside okay so uh, this concludes this week's uh, email automation the email automation um, article in total right we have discussed the input activities before like two weeks back we have discussed the output activities too and now you're all set to um, automate your email stuff pretty much which you use on a daily basis like those non-productive admin tasks specifically correct okay so um, thanks a lot guys please do check out the CRISPR learning video tutorial and the uh, ebook series available on Amazon and uh, for the video tutorials you can go to Udemy and Skillshare as well and uh, you can find the all the links to all these um, different resources for RPA in the description of this video so please don't hesitate to uh, check them out and reach out to me if uh, there are any concerns if you are facing any sort of problems with your RPA bots or, or even otherwise right and uh, don't forget to subscribe like share and comment on the blog post uh, as well as on the YouTube channel and happy happy automating thank you very much goodbye